Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz and today we're going to talk about exchange rate and net exports. We know that net exports is equal to exports minus imports and exchange rate plays a very important role in net exports. And today we're going to use a very simple example, American chocolate and European chocolate to illustrate the relationship between exchange rate and net exports. So to begin with, we're going to assume that there's some kind of very simple chocolate bar and a Hershey chocolate bar costs you a dollar and a Lindt chocolate bar costs you one euro. And the exchange rate is such that one euro is equivalent to one dollar. And therefore, Hershey chocolate costs Americans one dollar and the same Hershey chocolate is going to cost Europeans one euro. Likewise, Lindt chocolate is going to cost one euro for the Europeans and the same Lindt chocolate is going to cost one dollar for Americans. Now I'm going to start to change the exchange rate. So suppose the dollar depreciates and therefore two dollars can get you one euro. The reason is this, when the dollar depreciates that means the dollar becomes relatively worthless and therefore you need to pay more dollars in order to get one euro. So to Americans Hershey is still one dollar. How about a bar of Lindt? A bar of Lindt costs you one euro but now you need to pay two dollars to get one euro and therefore lit chocolate for Americans will become two dollars and therefore you can see Hershey is cheaper than Lindt so Americans will have less interest in buying Lindt and therefore our import is going to go down and for the Europeans their Lindt chocolate still cost them one euro but how about Hershey chocolate? We know Hershey chocolate is still a dollar but now for Europeans because the dollar depreciates so for Europeans, one dollar is only half a euro. So a bar of Hershey chocolate now costs Europeans only 50 cents. Contrast to Lindt is one euro. And therefore, Hershey chocolate will become more attractive to Europeans than Lindt chocolate. Therefore, Europeans will be more keen to buy our Hershey chocolate. And therefore, you can see our export of Hershey chocolate is going to go up. So net export is equal to export minus imports and you can see our export goes up our imports goes down and therefore our net exports goes up when the dollar depreciates so figuratively when the dollar depreciates is as if our dollar becomes smaller so it's kind of like this we have this tiny dollar and Europeans have relatively big euros so when we have this tiny dollar you can see we cannot afford to buy a lot of foreign goods Right, we can buy a European goods because their goods are relatively expensive. But for them, their euros are big, so they can afford to buy a lot of American goods. And that's the reason why our net export goes up. Now the other way around, suppose the dollar appreciates, that means the dollar becomes more valuable, and therefore for each dollar, you can get more euros. So what happens to our chocolate business? So to Americans, Hershey costs a dollar, still didn't change, how about Lindt? Well, Lindt costs you one euro, but now for one dollar we can get two euros. Therefore, one euro for us is only 50 cents. And therefore, Lindt costs Americans only 50 cents. So Lindt is relatively more attractive than Hershey for Americans. And therefore, we're going to buy more Lindt, and that is going to increase our imports. How about to Europeans? Now, for Europeans, Lindt chocolate is still one euro. But how much is a bar of Hershey? We know a bar of Hershey is still one dollar. But now Europeans will have to pay two euros for one dollar. And therefore, for Europeans, Hershey costs two euros. So two euros is relatively expensive. So for Europeans, they will find Hershey relatively unattractive. They prefer to buy Lindt. And therefore, Americans' export of Hershey is going to go down. So you can see our net export is export minus import. And because our export goes down, our import goes up. And therefore, net export goes down. So when the dollar appreciates, figuratively, it's kind of like this. Ha, we have a big dollar. And relatively, the euro is small. Therefore, if you get the big dollar, you can afford to buy a lot of goods from abroad. So our import is going to go up. And relatively, can Europeans, they're using their relatively smaller euro to buy our goods, then they can't afford to buy a lot. Therefore, 
you can see because they can't afford to buy our goods, so our export is going to go down. So don't memorize. Use your intuition and your imagination. So thanks for watching and good luck with your studying.